My name is Amir, and I'm an inventor. My invention is trying to bring back milkweed and dandelions. That's a food source of butterflies and bees. Milkweed and dandelions, we consider as weeds, so we cut them down, but I want to bring them back. So I'm inventing a seed launcher that will spread seeds to grow milkweed and dandelion plants. The plants can provide food for pollinators, like butterflies and bees. Pollinators are important because they make it possible for plants to reproduce and make more plants, including many fruits and vegetables that humans and other creatures live on. I'm a student at New View. It's a project-based school where we learn through hands-on exploration. So I'm going to use a few tools in the shop to get some work done today. For my invention, I had to figure out how to launch a seed ball. It's soil mixed with dandelion seeds and milkweed seeds formed into a ball that can be launched. I have an earlier prototype that used a can of compressed air triggered by a servo motor to launch the seed ball. My latest prototype uses a small jet or air blower. In this jet, there is a motor that is spinning a small propeller. It spins fast like a fan to draw air in and blows the air out the other side. And there's a hopper for the seed balls. They drop down into the nozzle to be launched by the flow of air from the propeller. I am using a CAD program, Computer Aided Design, to model the parts that I use in the seed launcher. I can design 3D models and send the files to a 3D printer. It creates each part by slowly building up thin layers of plastic. To me, invention means using your creativity to think of ways to make something better or make something new that we don't already have. So the air blower is going to have this propeller in it and the propeller is going to spin and blow air out. And when the nozzle is attached, it will blow out the seed balls. All the parts will be attached to a wooden base. This is the laser cutter. Basically, a laser cutter uses a thin beam of red light. So the laser cutter gives me super precise, quick cuts. The next thing I'm going to make is a motor mount. In order to design the mount, I need to take a lot of measurements off the motor so that the mount is not too small or too big. So this is the motor mount. It has been 3D printed and it works really well and holds the motor perfectly. This rod right here is going to connect the propeller to the motor shaft. So the motor was spinning and it was sucking air from under and it was spinning out on this side. So for testing, I'm making these little clay balls that were taking the place of the seed balls. I can mold the shape so I know what shape I need my seed balls to be. So I think it came out well. This is the backpack that I'm going to be using. The motor and the actual launcher is going to be at the very bottom of the backpack. And then instead of using the hopper, I'm using the pocket that comes with the backpack, the smaller pocket. And I mounted the tube to it. And there's going to be a little hole here where the nozzle pokes out. So with the seed launcher inside of it, it's still a functioning backpack. Everything is mounted inside of the backpack. 
and we know that the air can push out the seed balls. So the next step would be do a final test. I'm loading in the actual seed balls now. I have my seed launcher and we're going to launch some seed balls into the wild. It seems to be working very well. Hopefully next spring, the seeds that we launched would have sprouted and we'll see the bees and the butterflies have more food to eat. I like to help nature because we humans have a lot of technology that help us, but animals, they don't have anything that helps them. So my seed launcher is technology for the bees and butterflies to find their food a lot easier. <laughs>